Well, hello there. It's Saturday the 15th and a uh, little update for you. There's the house from the back facing the water. And it's a gorgeous day. And here's the water. Gorgeous. Looks like a mess back here, but it'll be nice when done. Workers are in lunch break right now, somewhere at the Kubo 2. And it's all going good. That's planned. Still waiting for the roof, the metal Banawi roof, and also the, uh, the windows. So we'll see how long that'll take. But yeah, they're coming along. I'm going to go to our other lot right now and just see what's going on. See if that big mango tree is still down by the shore. It's the way down. Oh, got a piece of wood for the dogs. That's a hard to dust wood for the dogs to chew on. Those little bullies love to chew on things. Well, yeah, we're going down right now. It's a mild slope. Time check, it's 12.25 in the afternoon. We'll see how it looks like. This lot is for my sons. My older son's gonna develop it as a diving resort. But it's got a beautiful, beautiful water front. It's like uh, tables of rocks, small beach fronts, there's sand. It's pretty. There's a big rock there that we can create like a feature, do something with that. But let's see how it looks like down here. There's where a lot of people will barbecue. Check it out. Sorry. What a bumpy ride. But yeah. This is their waterfront, my neighbor, my sons. I love this beach. Mine's more like a short cliff. <coughs> yeah, the big trees is not still down. We can probably make something out of that wood. As you can see, our Kubo number one is now a convertible. Still standing strong though with all those crashing, crashing waves. 150 mile per hour winds, typhoon, signal number five, it's like you got five. There's a big tree. It's probably nice wood there. It's drying up. It was fresh after the typhoon. But yeah, just listening to the sea sounds really nice. Kind of neat. There's these little holes. Water pops out if the wave's strong enough. Little fishies caught in here. From high tide to low tide. Sometimes you see crabs. So yeah. It's nice. And over there in the distance, you can see the view of Anda and Gindelman. You can probably see Cor and Mike from here, over there. Hello. Oh, you like my 60 peso haircut? 
dollar twenty. And my new glasses, they turn dark when it's sunny and they're clear in the dark. A lot cheaper here in the Philippines, I'll tell you that. The haircut is a dollar twenty cents. I tip them, so it's two bucks. Big spender, yeah, yeah, big spender that I am. I'm thinking of starting an aquarium, and uh, I've been searching far and wide for corals and rocks, but I guess a lot of dive resorts and divers don't like you to get them. But you know what? I don't have to look far. The big rocks and corals I'm looking for is right in my own backyard. Here, check this out. Look at that. There's the water. These get pushed in here. That one right there is gorgeous. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. I mean, that's drop that gorgeous, that piece right there. That's going in the aquarium. There's some other nice pieces there. Look at that, right in my own backyard. I don't have to drive anywhere. There's also a lot over there. I don't know if that typhoon or it was there. The typhoon pushed it there or it was there all this time. Sometimes you just have to stop and smell the coral. Here, there's a lot of corals and rocks here. I don't have to drive anywhere, I'll just lug it up to the aquarium. I'm gonna have a custom aquarium built. That's a nice piece, it's big. So I'm gonna have to make the base pretty heavy on the aquarium. And I don't have to buy fish. Well, maybe I do from the fish one. But it's all right there. There's a lot of coral reefs back there I've yet to discover. My son's girlfriend, Kelly, my oldest son, she's a master diver instructor, and I'm sure she'll catch some for us. But look at that. All right, I'm gonna go up now and see what's going on in the house. Let's check it out. Oh shoot, just on the way up. Look at these, they're fine. They're beautiful for the the aquarium look at that it's right here in the back it's strewn about everywhere this is Martin my artistic guy look he found a piece of mahogany and he's carving a cover for his knife during his lunch break that's beautiful that's good workmanship Martin is probably gonna help me do the rocks the carving on the rocks on the walls. I've watched his work, he's pretty good. All right, let's look around. Uh-huh, look, I caught him gambling during lunch. <laughs> the foreman sleeping on the job. Oh, tiling started in the bedroom. Guest bedroom. Irons on a hunt. We're finishing this. <coughs> nice. <coughs> nice. Show you his work. I mean, it's tight. This is where they mix it. All right, let's look, see what's going on upstairs. Oh, I gotta show you this before I go up. Look at the craftsmanship on this tiling. This is underneath the rock. Look how good that is. That's scales. Around the pipes. That's scales. Alright, let's go up. <coughs> I'm out of breath. I need more cardio. That's the steps. First steps on the outside going up. Foreman Al and I have been putting our heads together, how we're gonna to connect 
this part to up there. I first started <coughs> going straight down with a landing and go down again over here. But he said the stress point on that column might be a little too much because it's high. So <coughs> artistically and to make it right, we're going to snake it. We're going to curve. We're going to curve here. There. So <coughs> what that'll do is give me more flat space over here, which is ideal. Maximize yard space for the first layer where the doggies can run around. I can build a little garden, fish pond, what have you. Because on this side, underneath the water tank, it's going to be our laundry area. I'm going to build <coughs> like a cubo there with a, a big cement sink deeper so we can probably wash the dogs there and everything. Um, also do maybe some laundry or in a small dirty kitchen. The kitchen pavilion will be in the lower part. Yeah, that's a lot of digging guys. If you watch them every day and bag by bag, they dig it out. They jack it out first with this heavy piece of metal to loosen it and they shovel it and they put in these bags. And from the bags to the beach part where we're going to put more dirt and do the rice field design. That's going to be nice. But yeah, it's coming along. This side there was no flat part, but now we got a good flat part. We've been doing that this morning. And as far as height, the sight line I noticed from the living room, if we go a little deeper in a high wall, all you see is a high wall from the living room in the lower part. So I looked at it and looked at it and thought about it. What we're gonna do is we're gonna make the same height here over there. So it's gonna be cut in more, but the height will be probably there. That top part will be excavated. This will be flattened and another higher wall up on that level. So then again, terraced. So it'll be strong. I've tested how strong this wall is against the weight of this dirt. That's not going to move anywhere. That's pretty strong because these six inch cement blocks are covered with cement inside with uh, rebars and cross beams, tie beams. It's strong. No worries. So there's that front part. Okay, let's go around here. I showed you this yesterday, but it's worth looking at it again. I love that. Oh, on the top part, the cap. We're gonna have another lip here and a ledge. And on the other side, we'll have a short cement wall and then dig on the other side of that. So it makes this look more like a planter. Especially with that lip there, it'll be finished nicely. This will be lit up well at night too. So with that, uh, Saturday doesn't feel like Saturday on a, when you're retired. Feels like just any other day, but it's a Saturday. This will look good. This on the east side of the house, facing the big rocks. This is gonna be a really nice nook. I got a lot of nooks and crannies in this house, which I like. It creates a lot of character and a lot of shade, which is nice. So the house isn't filled with music yet, but it will be. It's got music, laughter. It's 
it's all gonna be good so uh with that have a nice weekend guys can't wait to uh keep continuing showing you guys so you might have some artistic tips or engineering tips what have you any ideas please comment below any thoughts it's all good and good love my dollar haircut oh sorry dollar 20 i splurge all right peace y'all thanks for watching and uh continuing to subs and please subscribe and share it thanks guys have a safe weekend bye